All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for chapter five of the Genjin Impact manga. A lot of interesting things are developing between Dotore, this unknown child, this girl with seemingly dark, nefarious powers. We don't know their intentions. We don't know why they're in Mondstadt, where they came from, what they're searching for, or anything of the sort. Amber has decided to have this 200 IQ plan of taking on Dotore, like bringing him to justice as if someone like that's going to live listen to authority of an outrider of all things. Hopefully Kaya will swoop in and help out. She also has that one mustachioed guy who got like repurposed for like a machine from Dotori. So like his experiments are pretty insane. Based on the thumbnail, it seems like Jean's going to be confronting this guy. Thumbnail spoilers and all that. But anyways, we're going to jump into it. Very excited to see where this goes. So we're back in the library. Jean's doing her thing. The girl fell asleep. Shh, Lisa, it isn't easy for someone as wary and defensive as this little one to fall asleep like this let's try not to wake her oh why'd she leave her oh okay she put her vision on the side here so her vision's just chilling on the desk she probably spent years wandering in the barren wastes indeed the poor girl the disease cursed her oh wait they know oh of course they fucking know of course lisa would know the disease cursed her to a sad and bleak future i really hope her stay in Mondstadt will provide some respite for the suffering she has had to endure. She won't have to worry about bad weather or wild beasts here. She'll be loved and may even find someone to love. The vision. Whoa, it's reacting for some reason. What the heck? Dandelions. Is that Venti? Is that you? It's like his personal like number. Like you can just contact your local Archon just by putting it up to your ear. Oh, I was like, what's this? <laughs> That's such a good chapter cover. Dangerous Grounds. Yeah, she's got her eye on the prize. Hilly Churls, you're mine. She's like being one with nature. She's blending into her environment. This is the way of an outrider. This is too good. That was too good. Aw, oh, look at this. The drawings are so wholesome, man. Some strange footprints. Okay, mihoyo. We get it. Girls have asses. This exists in the world. Do you really have to emphasize it every chapter, dude? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, a good outrider must be sneaky. Now, what do we have here? A secret hilly chill camp very close to Mondstadt? If this is a secret location, I need to know where it is because chances are there's a treasure chest here that I haven't gotten yet. Hilly churls, big chilling, got nothing to do. Hilly churls usually don't camp this close to human settlements. They hide their tracks pretty well. Only a most skilled outrider could find this. Thank goodness I'm the best outrider there is. All right, way to stroke your ego there. Tactical retreat. I can't fight an entire entire camp by myself yeah well guess what you can blame me hoyo for that also you can do it you just need the right artifacts the right weapons the right rng the right sub stats you just need to be better in every other conceivable way because you just got a really shit hand out the gate anyways the knights usually chase away monsters that get too close but a lone outrider can't do much i still need to track down this weirdo so i won't go back empty-handed he's not a native to monstat he wouldn't have gone far if he isn't familiar with the local area hey that looks very strange wait what the fuck is that is that like a bug oh no it's like a bird with the fatui mark on the wings the mark of the fatui why is it here wait those hilly chills look kind of weird as well this smells really fishy to me my outrider senses are telling oh, i thought they're gonna say are tingling i was gonna say okay you literally just stole a page out of spider-man my outrider senses are telling me to get to the bottom of this oh damn screw my pyrovision i'm a geo vision wielder now ladies and gentlemen i'm a self-made Geo wielder. Geo Amber confirmed anybody? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Kobe! Dada C? Yo, Mosi Gusha. Oh, he got freaking cracked in the head. Yo, Amber's actually goaded. The first one was a distraction. The first one was like, look at this hand. Look at this hand. And then he just like, she like cracked him with the other one. That was actually pretty smart. You know, shout out to Amber. Two more to go. Yeah, well, you're running out of rocks, okay? So relax there, Ningguang wannabe. My position has been exposed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and that's it. Chapter's done. Damn, they left you right in the middle of the action. I need more. I need more, Miho. We need to see what happens next. Amber's out here finessing these freaking hilly chills like no one's business. She's popping off. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, Ika. Last one. Wait, what? You can do that? You can infuse anything with pyro? Where's this amber? The fire rock throwing amber. I want this amber on the gotcha, okay? That should have been her C6, bro. Amber actually did get a buff, guys. It's just in the manga. <laughs> 
Oh my god, that's actually kind of cool. Don't think about using weapons, churl. Oh my god, she beat the shit out of this one. Look at him, he's all burnt to a crisp. And then she just goes in, kicks him in the head. <laughs> How do you like a kick to the face? Don't ever get into a fight with Amber because she plays dirty. You can't just kick someone in the face. That's fucked up. Let's see what we have here. Hmm. It does bear the mark of the Fatui, but what's this exactly? That weirdo is definitely up to no good. This might be one of his traps or gadgets. Maybe you put it down. Don't put it in your pocket. It could just blow up. And there goes your entire backside. I'll just look for more clues around here. All right, slips it in. We got some more hilly churls. I think I hear something. This is impossible. I just knocked all of you out. And I'm all out of stones as well. <gasps> oh, fuck. Fuck. Okay, chat, this is it. Amber's gonna die for the second time right here, right now. You see the mighty swing of this arm? It's just gonna knock her head clean off her shoulders. Let's just give ourselves a moment. Let's just say a prayer real quick for the last Outrider. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were dead right there. What the heck? What the hell? Where did this big guy come from? So I wonder if that little bird thing is like a receiver. And now that she has it in her back pocket, it's gonna keep falling following her. I think that's what it is. Or like a tracker of some sort. It just killed a churl with a single blow. This scouting mission just got a lot worse. I shouldn't have left my bow at home. You fool. It's looking at me. I gotta run for it. Yo, cheese it. Oh, damn. He's also a geo user. <laughs> Oh my god. Damn, he's like, you got them small little pebbles? I got giant boulders. Let's do it. Oh, thank god, Gene. Gene just freaking saved your freaking ass. I hope I'm not too late. Hey, guys, don't listen to what anyone tells you. Animo beats Geo confirmed. You're seeing it right here in the flesh. Geo is automatically worse than Animo. Mihoyo said so. I'm Gene, second in command of the Knights of Favonius. Your fight is with me. Gene's such a badass, too. Oh! Don't forget to recommend this to your friends, Traveler. Next update in May. I wasn't expecting Paimon, but nice little promotion you slipped in there, Mihoyo. Jean's about to throw down? I'm freaking gassed. I'm trying to see what the Dandelion Knight can do. I mean, I already know I have her, but, uh, you know, she needs to get that little thing gadget thing out of her back pocket, because I feel like that might have a reason for why this monster dude didn't show up, you know? What's this guy's name again? Yeah, Krupp. Yeah. Mr. Krupp didn't show up until after she grabbed that thing and put it away. So I feel like that's a little telling. But damn, things are starting to heat up. I feel like things took a little bit of a distant turn. Between Jean and Lisa, they actually already knew about the girl, about the fact that she's cursed and she's got like a weird disposition. I should have expected that. Like Lisa's smart as fuck. They basically were just biding time until the child fell asleep to then talk about it. I assume, at least from that scene, that's what it implied, that they already knew the situation. But it's a kid at the end of the day that did it. And maybe it's not completely their fault. Or maybe they don't completely have control over how to control their powers or whatever. I did like that one bit right there. Also, it just goes to show you that Lisa is as like giga brain as we should expect her to be. She graduated from the Sumera Academia or she studied there for two years. She's well-versed in many things, even though she despises working too hard. But yeah, this was a really interesting chapter too. I'm excited to see where it goes because they literally stopped in the middle of a fight that's about to happen with Gene and Mr. Krupp. We're gonna be checking that out in the next chapter. All right, so we are back. We're gonna be picking up where we just left off with chapter five with chapter six amber is out doing some reconnaissance looking for dotore to no avail she bodied a bunch of hilly churls she became an official unofficial geo character with pyro embedded in there as well so she wielded two elements at the same time she's the new traveler confirmed yeah a lot of things amber's doing in here are making me very impressed with her again it's so weird how they showcase amber so much in the manga but then when you play the game she gets one character quest which is like immediately at the beginning of the game and then you see her here and there in other people's quests but for the most part she's very much forgotten as a character which is a little unfortunate i really hope they give her a little bit more shine and screen time maybe an extended part two character quest down the road especially if we find out anything more about this girl that she hopefully builds a bond with as time goes on but anyways we're gonna be continuing on because gene is about to throw down with mr krupp and i'm very excited to see the results of this because apparently animo beats out geo 
video nine times out of ten ten times out of ten some experts will say anyways genshin impact chapter six wind and fire is that is that fire yeah wind and fire f y r e what are you what are you doing here does not compute mr krupp destroy <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, dude. Mr. Krupp's actually a threat now. He doesn't talk anymore, too, so he can't annoy Dotore. So now he's all action, no talking. Jean's out here finessing this guy. Strike at the opening. Oh, chop this man's limbs off. But he's machine. By the seven, she moved so fast I couldn't even see a thing. From the sound of the creaky joints and the fire-based design, I think I know how this thing was built. Wait, that was it? Holy shit, Gene just one-shot Mr. Krupp. Rest in peace, Mustachio Man. You will be missed. We hardly knew ye, my guy. You did like two strikes and that was it. I mean, then again, this is the acting grandmaster we're talking about. What do you expect? Also, Dotore might not have put a, the most fine-tuning into this thing as we thought he would. Now I wonder if you'd tell me why you ran out of the library back then. Are you all right, Amber? Ugh, I can take a look. It's this. I came here looking for clues and this is what I found. The mark of the Fatui. Kya, look behind you. What happened to those broken parts? See, I knew it. I knew we weren't done. I knew we weren't dealing with some random basic bitch weapon. This is the Fatui. This is Dotore we're talking about. In the name of. She got hit. That looks like a freaking scorpion's hook. Jesus Christ. Outrider Amber, you're wounded. Don't mind me. I can take care of this bring that thing to Mondstadt as quickly as you can wait Gene's gonna hold this guy dude he just re-amalgamated look at him now I know why it's called wind and fire Gene's the wind Mr. Krupp's the fire that's actually pretty cool Gene's wound looks pretty bad but I probably get in her way if I were to stay aye aye ma'am what is it doing see it's following her I think it's following her because of the thing that she has that thing ignored Gene to chase me instead it's trying to get what Amber found exactly take this take this C2 my attack didn't even make a dent. Amber, toss that thing. No way. This clue may be the only lead we have. I won't lose it to this tin can. The burning paper said that the evil eye gives off this aroma of mist grass upon use. Gene, the burn paper mentioned something about the smell. The special smell of the Fatui device. The black fire incident gave off the very same smell. I won't throw anything related to the Fatui. It's the only lead we have. Maybe this kid is related to the Fatui somehow. I don't know. Okay. I give up, guys. I tried. I tried to be this wholesome Christian streamer. I tried to uphold a level of chivalry, just being an upstanding gentleman. Try to look past the assets, to look past the angles. But Mihoyo doesn't know how to stop. Anyways, this is part one done. Amber, about those burning papers. Face me, you beast. It seems that our dearest Amber left without reading these papers. Oh, boy. The details do match the witness account of the Black Flame. But why would the Fatui, the evil eye, its previous owner was Diluc's father? So this is the delusion that Diluc wears when he's the Dark Knight hero. But I guess that's the delusion of Master Crepus, his dad. Then this case would involve Diluc. Uh-oh. This girl got a name. She got a name. She got D. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you want to mess with Diluc. Like, let's be real. <laughs> Master Diluc, owner of the biggest vineyard of Mondstadt, is his father the one who did it? No, his father already passed away. I've sent Lisa to D. Luke's manor. Yo, Jean's out here popping off, bro. Amber, run. Hey, blockhead, you want this? Then let's play catch. All right, she goes and throws. Oh, yeah, like, why is he attracted to that? Oh, wait, hold up. Are those explosive barrels right there? Did Amber just, like, make a five-head play? If those are explosive barrels, we actually might have a GG right here. Now's our chance, Jean. Wait, wait, get the fuck out of here they're combining abilities yo we need to have that in the game now we need to have like team combos i demand it i'm not talking about swirl i want a team attack all right amber let's blow the barrels and find our wind and fire infuse the sword with fire and then burst it all out look at that shit that's some cool ass like co-op finisher stuff last chapter i was like oh i get it gene's the wind and mr krupp is the fire right because he's got the blue flames but no the wind and fire were the friends we made along the way amber and gene you love to see it whew that should take care of things time to head back to town and report this incident now we can join lisa in the library and <clears throat> rummage 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 what are you trying to do amber <laughs> 
I'm trying to look for more clues. Oh, Amber. All right, I still don't know what this girl's doing. Ugh, finally got away from these people. <laughs> Jesus. I'm counting on you to investigate this matter regarding Master D. Luke. Dude, have we gotten so far from the plot of what actually happened? This girl attacked the cart, but somehow it turned into, from Amber's perspective, it turned into Dotori was there, so he must have had something to do with it. But then D. Luke, his dad's delusion, it's all making sense. I feel like a Eventually, this girl's just gonna expose herself. She's just gonna be like, y'all waste so much time. I did that at the beginning. It wasn't Dotore. It wasn't D. Luke. Y'all are incompetent. Y'all are dumb. I'm out of here. I feel like that's what's gonna happen. I don't think I can turn down a request from Jean. I was planning to take this little girl out to shop for a new dress. What a real shame. Managed to sneak away out when that woman left. This drawing should be that thing. What the hell is that? These would be the clues that I'm looking for. That looks like a, I want to say like a lantern almost. The shape of it kind of reminds me of like one of those waypoints in the game or like Lisa's summon, the hilly trail staff. I thought it would have looked like a staff, but the top part looks way too like, unless this is the stick part that the hilly trail would hold. Is this person related to the hilly trails then? Interesting. Hey there, but I don't know how to read this. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no, no. <laughs> Kaya fucking found it, dude. Oh, damn. He was like, Amber, let me take care of this. I know what I'm doing. And lo and behold, thank God Kai is the thing. Everyone else is just like running in circles. Have we met before? Somewhere near the city gates, perhaps? And you just came out of our library? Oh, fuck. Fuck. What is this guy planning? Don't mean to intrude, but may I have the pleasure of learning your name? Fuck. <laughs> Damn, random girl, you got some explaining to do. Let's just say this man gets what he wants. He has a way with words. This was a very engaging chapter. Finally, we're getting some information. We're getting some clues. Kai is in the mix. So it sucks for this girl that she kind of like was pretty much around a bunch of idiots the whole time. And then the one person that actually has things going for it, like he, he actually put two and two together. Yeah, that's probably the worst person she could have found out because now he's asking questions. You don't just not answer Kaya's questions. Let's be real. Yeah, I think Kai is pretty like straight straightforward right now. I don't think Kai is super sus. He might still not really even know about this girl because she just like zipped right by him at the beginning. Now that interrogation needs to start coming out, but I'm very excited to see where this goes for this girl. And if we're actually going to get a name out of her, I'm still calling her this girl. I'd like to have a name to associate with the character. And it's now been six chapters and we're no closer to that. Well, six chapters overall, but I think chapter two or three was when we got introduced to this character. Anyway, we're gonna find that out hopefully in the next chapter so sit tight all right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls this is the last chapter we're gonna be reading for the day but we are getting into chapter seven dusty chest for the genshin impact manga hope you guys have been enjoying it thus far the last chapter was pretty good too we got a little dynamic duo between Jean and amber i think kind of like their first foray into combat together because this is like when they're first getting acquainted they don't really know each other they're not very you know they're not friends or close comrades ads or anything. Amber, this entire time around, Jean has been very docile and fidgety and nervous and anxious. First off, Amber popped off. I wish Amber had this much showcase and this much attention in the actual game itself because she's almost kind of treated like the unofficial mascot of the game with the exception of Paimon. But like Mihoyo also kind of just throws Amber under the bus when the game came out. It's like, hey, let's show people how cool Amber is. And then when the game comes out, let's pretend like she doesn't exist because we did that one chapter skit right here where it made it look like we killed Amber, but we just killed her in our minds and in our hearts. So we pretend she doesn't exist in the game. Hi, Yoimiya. How's it going? So yeah. So other than that, the fight was pretty cool. Rest in peace, Mr. Krupp. And now we seem to be getting somewhere with information. Hopefully we'll learn what this girl's official name is because Kai is on the case and the cavalry captain is the only one that's apparently doing something that is actually coming to a conclusive conclusion of like the whole point of finding out where this black fire originated. Lisa's like off. Amber's off jeans off it's like it's this girl but y'all think it's all of these other things that aren't really correlating anyways let us get into chapter seven. Ooh, lisa and d luke hey are those cecilia hog the cecilias are beautiful you can't find them anywhere but at star snatch cliff absolutely i have like 1800 in my inventory they're known to enjoy windy weathers and can also survive harsh winters what an awesome garden whoa where is this garden hello where are they right now if these can only be found at star snatch cliff where are you guys what garden you didn't 
come all the way up here to give me gardening lessons, I hope. Oh, is this D. Luke's winery? Oh, like his estate? Tell me, what's the reason of your visit? Well, trust me, I wanted to stay at the library, but everyone's so busy right now. I felt a little, a bit lonely. How about doing me the favor of your company, Mr. D. Luke? Let me be clear. Despite what you may think, I have nothing to do with that incident. Kaya already questioned me about this before. Well, actually, we found new clues, and I'm afraid that this case has something to do with you now. The evidence found after the carriage explosion of two days ago let us think that the same culprit was behind what happened to your father. Th oh, that's how it correlates. I thought they meant like that was the source and the reason why. Okay, now I see what's going on. They made like new discoveries that opened up more to be told. So like this branched out two pads. Like who did this? And this has more implications for what has happened to us in the past with D. Luke's dad. And that correlates to the delusion and all that other shit. Wow. Okay. That's actually really interesting now. How did you find out about this? It was supposed to be a secret. Never mind. Jean told you about it, didn't she? But I want to hear more from you. All I want is to solve this case quickly so we can y'all get back to our lives. Nothing more. That's why I need you to tell me, Mr. D. Luke, what exactly happened three years ago. Oh boy. D. Luke flashback? Are we still not going to know this girl's name? Yo, they're freaking, they're holding out on your boy. I thought this was going to be the chapter we'd get it. Genshin Impact chapter seven, Dusty Chest. So you got Kaya in here, got D. Luke. I love these two. Big sister, little sister vibes all day. Oh, oh, wait, we might actually know it. Okay. Meanwhile, back in the present, <laughs> didn't mean to intrude, but may I have the pleasure of knowing your name? This guy, he's a knight. Ugh. Well, cat got your tongue. <laughs> Uh, nothing but a lost wanderer, sir, unworthy of your precious time. With the dreadful incident that just happened two days ago, it's only natural to investigate folks who walk around the city, am I right? What about you, little wanderer? Tell me, when did you arrive in Mondstadt? She's getting revenge on Kaya. <laughs> Uh, Sir Kaya, I hope you weren't bullying my friend, were you? My bad, Amber. Then could you please introduce your lovely friend to me? Of course. Has no idea. Her name is... Yeah, go on. Tell him what your name is. <laughs> oh, well, my name is Kali. Finally, we got a name. That's all that matters. We got a name. Kali, Kali. I'm going to say Kali. Okay, Dotore Banner win. Lady Vanessa Banner win. Kali Banner win, Mihoyo. The ball's in your court. Kaya, great timing. I need to talk to you about the new clues of our case. Hey, in the end, did you find what you were looking for? What? Uh, oh yeah. Yet. Not, not yet. <laughs> Excuse me. The lady forgot this when she was tidying up her documents earlier. Oh, what is this? This document certainly holds the biggest clues of our investigation so far. Lisa found out similar combustion marks on another incident that happened three years ago, which is related to D. Luke. For this reason, we suspect that he may be involved in the case as well. I mean, not really. He's just caught up in it now this incident d luke was celebrating his coming of age on the day it happened i'll tell you only once so listen carefully okay so all of these things are happening at the same time because kai is going to inform gene and then d luke is going to inform lisa and everyone will be on the same page look at kaya's eyes yeah look at that dude kai is on to something dude all right so let's see three wow oh my god look at d luke free flowing luscious locks of hair three years ago cheers Congratulations, Master D. Luke. You're an adult now. Thanks, but I'll pass this time. Come on, have a drink, right? I forgot. You're still on duty. He's the captain of the knights right now. Oh my god. Oh, is that his dad? You know what his dad looks like? Do you guys remember Venti's character quest? That cutscene where it showed like Decarabian, like them storming his tower. And I was like, is that D. Luke? But it wasn't D. Luke. It was someone that had red hair, ponytail, mustache that kind of looked like it. That's what this guy looks like. Like, I'm not saying that this guy is that person, but very clearly a rag vendor like ancestor from back then. But his dad looks very much like that person in that cutscene. Ha ha ha, don't worry. Feel free to stop by the winery anytime and we'll drink together to your heart's content. How generous of you, Mr. Crepus. Let's get going, D. Luke. We should head back home before it starts raining, don't you think? Yes, father. Aww. He was so happy. He was so... Look at that wholesome smile right there, dude. Look at that. I mean, I know it was three years ago, but he looks like he's aged more than three years after all that. I don't know. Maybe it's just like the demeanor of his face. Anyways, we're going to get into the second half of this. God damn it. Hey, be careful. <gasps> 
Was it literally an inside job? Are you fucking kidding me? What the hell? The bird! It's here too! Flap, flap. Oh my god. Dude, this device leads monsters or creatures that they create. Remember how Amber had it on her and then like Mr. Krupp? He was like constantly following her he was like compelled by this thing it said in d luke's character thing that they were attacked by a monster and if i am a betting man i'm gonna assume that it's something that dotore set up i wanted to become a knight too when i was your age however i wasn't fit for the job the gods also had other plans for me but you've succeeded where i failed the knights of favonius are lucky to count on someone as brilliant as you among their ranks please don't belittle yourself father you contributed to monstat as much as the knights but in a different way you're right i know i am <laughs> well d luke i'm proud of you my son <laughs> i guess you won't need this anymore what he was gonna give d luke a delusion but he didn't end up needing it because he got a vision damn dude wait what the at that time if i realized sooner that something was amiss if i had been struck that's ursa did dotori not kill ursa at this time or did he control ursa at this time then none of this would have happened dude that's literally ursa the drake did the fatui control the dragon so between the aristocrats and now the fatui seem to have somehow controlled this dragon how i have no fucking clue fuck dude the dark magic that hails from the wow that's actually pretty badass i'm not gonna lie the chains that power how i think it's backfiring hold on click 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 splash wait what happened the dragon got away but his dad just got like wrecked oh so he just fended it off he never killed it so this right here it's backfiring right here that's what it is but what the hell's going on with the dragon right here oh hold on this is the bird so it's reacting to the bird okay so i actually understand this now so he uses the delusion chains him up it backfires at some point but the bird it seems like the bird is signaling to the dragon okay you you're good. You can leave now. Like, you did what we wanted you to do. I thought Dotore killed it, but what I guess it means is like, I guess in a way he did kill it because now he controls it. Either the Fatui can control this or after this happened, then Dotori showed up and killed it because this is still three years before present. But yeah, clearly Vanessa and Venti kind of fucked up by not taking care of this dragon back then. Great job. You managed to defeat it. Now we... Hey, father, we came to help. Are you all right? Wow. d -Luke had to have killed him at some point because it said d -Luke killed him. He was in such agony from the backfiring that his dad was just suffering. He probably wasn't going to make it anyway. Everything happened so fast. Why? Why couldn't I do anything to stop it? Father, we suffered a tragic loss. So D. Luke's father was killed by Ursa. Is that really what happened? Yes, I saw everything with my own eyes on that day. But didn't you just say that D. Luke's father defeated Ursa? Then why did he actually, his power backfired on him? And why would you know that? Ah, what a fucking cliffhanger, dude. What? Kali's finally speaking up. Anthony, you said look at chapter 12 and look at his leg. Wait, is he fucking disintegrating? What the fuck is happening? Oh, his arm is literally gone, dude. His arm and his leg. That's really rough, dude. And everybody out like Kaya sees that. D Luke sees that. Fuck delusions, man. Child better stop using that shit. He has a hydro vision. He's got the foul legacy. Bro, what the fuck are you using a delusion for? You're actually a cool character. I don't want you to go the way of Master Crepus. Regardless if it's a sunny day, it's always gloomy. It's always raining for d luke it's so crazy actually seeing it because we literally read all this shit this was in his character description his character bio it talked about his dad it talked about him why he left the knights the knights wanted to cover it up clearly there was a lot more going on at the time so i can understand why they'd want to cover it up you know there's clearly foul play at hand and they don't want the fatui to know that they know that they're onto something and d luke saw that as like a betrayal like yo my dad died and you're literally just trying to pretend that didn't happen i can see where things got lost in translation and I can see why Kaya and D. Luke decided to part ways because of that too. I hope they show the chapter of Dotori fighting and killing Ursa the Drake. That'd be so badass. Cause like this dragon's been giving everybody shit. This dragon needs to chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it was like orchestrated. That was like a coordinated attack by the Fatui. And you would have to think it was a coordinated attack because how did Master Crepus get that delusion in the first place? It seems like they're
they're like mass produced or manufactured from the Saritza who commands the Fatui. Maybe it was like an insurance policy. Maybe he was supposed to give it back to them or maybe he decided to keep it for himself or whatever. But like clearly Master Crepus was affiliated with the Fatui to some degree. And that's why when Diluc found out about the delusion, he decided to travel the seven nations. He decided to interact with the Fatui and the Harbingers and get to the bottom of it as well. It all lines back up to the Fatui. Depending on where the manga goes, we might actually find out for certain what exactly happened if all of these things are connected. In a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen, that is my first half of the Genshin Impact manga experience. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Kali, I don't know if she's going to talk about her powers, about her past, about why she knows that the power backfired, unless you have an idea of like what delusions are, if it correlates to what you've been through or whatever, or if you've had a run-in with that kind of stuff. Because like her whole thing seems very different than the norm of visions and delusions and stuff like that. But yeah, this was a really awesome sequence. I really hope you guys enjoyed. We still have a lot more to go. We still have a lot more to learn. And I'm very, very excited to see where this goes for tomorrow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Genshin Impact manga session. We're getting through the second half of the Genshin Impact manga today. We are back for chapter eight. We finished chapters one through seven, including the prologue during yesterday's session of manga chapter readings, learning about the pre-game events of Mondstadt, everything from Lady Vanessa to Dotore and this mysterious girl Kali regarding this major incident of the Black Serpent Flame. And everyone's trying to put together these different pieces of information that are all stringing together this bigger conspiracy or this bigger plan regarding the Fatui. Everything from the attack of D. Luke's father three years ago to the recent events of what's been going on in Mondstadt. And it's all very exciting. It's all very interesting. It's got me hyped for future things like hopefully D. Luke having the Dark Knight Heroes costume in the game, future banner characters like Dotore, Lady Vanessa, Kali in the future, and all that other stuff. We've seen a lot of interactions from characters like Lisa and D. Luke, which was interesting, Amber and Kaya from the early days of like getting acquainted, as well as Amber and Jean as well. So we're going to be picking up where we last left off. We're going to be starting with chapter eight. And I do want to make a quick disclaimer right here for chapter nine, which is the next chapter. As you can see here, we have chapter eight, part one. We have chapter eight, part two. However, this jumps immediately to chapter 10. Now, I'm not sure why, but apparently chapter nine was removed from the Genshin Impact official website for some reason. Some people said that it was due to like a translation error or something like that. So that chapter was called Ludi Harpastum. So we're actually going to be switching over to the Webtoon website and checking out Ludi Harpastum part one and Ludi Harpastum part two. So the format might be a little different for those chapters. Just keep that in mind. But anyways, chapter eight, final clue. So how this chapter last left off was everyone was talking about the events that happened three years ago with Master Crepus, how he died, Ursa the Drake being a part of it, the Fatui potentially antagonizing and orchestrating that attack for D. Luke's father, especially since he had a delusion, which seems to hail from Shneznaya and the Saritza and the Fatui and all that stuff. Very interesting how all of this is slowly coming together. And the last panel that was brought up was Kali was like, oh, it happened because it backfired, implying that Kali kind of has an idea of how delusions work. So this is where we're picking off from there. Sorry, sir. I got ahead of myself and assume things. Pay me no mind. Is that so? Sneers. <laughs> Shivers. Oh no, Kali's getting scared. That's already sus. Kali kind of understands how delusions work. Was that also written in the report? You seem to know a lot. That's what happens when you rely on powers that aren't your own. In this world, everything comes with a price. Oh my God, this is so good. This was what was in her character bio. Lisa's whole motivation for like her vision and being granted the vision and what she feels like it represents is this power was given to me by the gods, which means that inevitably someday I'm going to have to pay the price for having something like this. So she does it in her own way, teaching people, doing right by others, and you know, just trying to be like the best person she can, I guess. Is that why you left the Ordo Favonius? That was for another reason. The big thing too was just like the knights were so incompetent. And then on top of that, they wanted to cover up the father's death. So maybe he felt betrayed. Genshin Impact, chapter eight, final clue. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks for talking to good old D. Luke and easing his mind a little bit. Meanwhile, back at Team Amber, right? I think I know something about it. There was a time when I hid in the cupboard at headquarters to scare my grandpa. Oh, 
Oh my god, she's a little kid. My grandpa was a highly respected outrider, and since work kept him busy, he barely had time to play with me. So she would just chill in the cupboard and give her old man a freaking heart attack, essentially. I decided to sneak in the office and hide myself in a cupboard, patiently waiting for him to come in so I could scare him. However, <laughs> grandpa never showed up that day. <laughs> Uh, I think this is a metaphor. Again, Mihoyo just wants to stick Amber in a cupboard and just forget that she's there. This is all subliminal messages from good old Mihoyo. This is how they truly feel about Amber. Other people use the office instead. This incident can't be disclosed to the pu- Whoa, she caught on to something? This incident cannot be disclosed to the public. My father gave his life to save us all. Oh... We can't just pretend that his sacrifice that so oh my god this was also three years ago after d luke's dad died so they're correlating what d luke just said to lisa and they're still giving us new information but from a different perspective so amber knows what happened further besides there's no way we can lie about the reason for his death can we yep and this is why he left the knights of favonius will lose all credibility if people were to discover that this incident had been handled by a mere businessman they won't trust us to protect them anymore maybe y'all need a new day job Y'all are still bringing that shit up even today. The Dark Knight heroes cleaning up all of these people's acts and they have to be the ones to take credit. Otherwise, people will be like, we're incompetent. What will people say? Like, bruh, maybe this isn't your line of work. Maybe y'all are a little too in over your heads. Go join the Adventurers Guild or something. What are they talking about? A mere businessman? Fame and glory shall benefit the living. The dead have no use for them. Whoa, who the fuck said that? Boosting the prestige of the Knights of Favonius can benefit my monstat in many ways if your father was still alive we would have welcomed him into our ranks just like he dreamed of in his youth too bad he's no longer with us <laughs> oh who is this guy he's got a blue ring on his finger yo this better not be grandmaster varka i'll be fucking heated my guy so whoever's got this ring i'm keeping a watchful eye for this thing right here and d luke's got it out for you now because you're talking shit fine don't consider me a knight anymore don't you dare forget monstat exists thanks to people like my father i really hope that's not grandmaster varko they look like they're in gene's office or what will soon become gene's office oh wait hold up no i do remember it wasn't that one dude a traitor what was his name yeah Eroch. i think that's who this is actually that actually makes a lot of sense i completely forgot about that guy he's the guy that was like we can't let people know sweep it on the rug let's cover this up and then it turned out down the road that this guy was a traitor to the knights anyway so it just kind of sucks that d luke had to be driven away by someone like this and then it turns out that this guy was a wolf in sheep's clothing anyway i did my best not to get caught after that the people in the office left one by one mm, i feel like this clue is leading us nowhere interesting she's legitimately the outrider both in the sky and in the cupboards i bet the fatui are behind all this hey there you go i mean when aren't they i heard rumors about weird experiments being carried out in their facilities but to think that they'd have such poor taste yeah so we're seeing this little image right here this little drawing it kind of does look like one of the hilly churl like the sama churl stabs now that you guys mention it i don't really know for sure but d luke is like pretty much honing in on it as well and he says they have such poor taste so i don't know what they're getting at what's written on it well let me see it says that you seem awfully interested in this document <laughs> little wanderer i'm sure you know more about this document than we do hey sir kaya stop bullying my friend my friend she the fatui they injected something into her body uh i think we could save her if i knew what was on that paper wait what she was just talking about herself wasn't she her final attempt to escape death huh wait what the fatui experimented on her but she says my friend so i don't know if she's literally speaking on someone else's behalf or if she's like self inserting because there seems to be something up with this girl for sure she was just talking about herself wasn't she her final attempt to escape death huh you came all this way to monstad to save your friend whoa you're so kind i have newfound respect for you y yeah <laughs> about that amber actually this paper was written in an ancient language i doubt anyone can read it except for maybe lisa sorry i can't read it either <laughs> disappointed <laughs> 
But don't worry, I know someone who does at the Sumeru Academia. I'll send my teacher a request. Really? Holy shit, dude. She's got a letter of recommendation for you, teach. Yay, your friend is saved. <laughs> Great, I finally got the clue I was looking for. Yeah, right. Meanwhile, suspicious, sus, among us. Kai is on to you, Kali. Kai is hella sus right now. We actually aren't memeing anymore, guys. Actually sus. You can actually see it right here. <laughs> Sorry to ruin the mood, but I have some bad news to announce. Come on, dude. The Fatui will pay us an official visit in three days. Oh, boy. We received a letter from them. They probably want to investigate the cause of the incident. Yo, Kali, whenever you're ready to spill the beans, that'd be fucking great. You know, just saying. Or rather, identify who is to blame for it. Look at Kaya, man. He's like, I already know, but I just want to see how far this goes. <laughs> I left the remains of the device that Amber found to the other knights for this very reason and guess what i've been told that a large number of similar devices were sighted everywhere in town oh my god dotori's popping off whoever it is they will most certainly strike during ludi harpastum this is so precious look at this they're all like little mini chibis <laughs> right that would really take the cake it means that we need to catch the culprit of the black fire incident within the next three days i'll join you i'll take care of that culprit i have my own clues on how to deal with them all right we'll do our best to support you yeah i can assist you in this task actually i have other plans for you amber <laughs> Monka W. Search missions are your forte, right? Yes, they are. Kali, you can help us out too. Well, everyone seems like they're a bit scheming. As the festivities of Ludi Harpastum have begun, I'll enlist the help of other knights on this matter as well. For the sake of the townsfolk, we cannot let anything ruin the festival. Knights, I'm counting on you. Will Ludi Harpastum go off without a hitch? Find out next week on the staggering episode of Genshin Impact Z. That was a very interesting sequence so we're getting to the bottom of things not exactly confirming anything but it's kind of like wow the fatui are at it again i guess this is maybe like the first inkling of monstat realizing that the fatui aren't exactly like benevolent righteous organization and maybe this is like their first foray into the fatui again this is taking place prior to what we know now and even when we started the game in monstat they were already causing issues and delegation problems with the whole storm terror incident so this isn't the first time time monstats had to deal with them this time it seems like this is like the first major offense but then by storm terror it's kind of like okay we all know that the fatui are on their bullshit the fact that they're slowly coming to understand that well they don't know it yet but dotori is really like acting up and kind of popping off and doing his own thing i really want kali to just come out and just tell us what we want to know i'm wondering how long it's going to take before we get these big revelations also lisa just reached out to her teacher from sumeru so we actually might see a sumeru academia professor or a teacher like it's her teacher and she's literally like galaxy brain already so her teacher must be pretty impressive as well but yeah so we're gonna be checking out the next sequence i hope you guys look forward to this chapter if anything we're gonna get a little gander into what could potentially be coming to genshin in game in the future for the next ludi harpastum event you know down the line so very excited about that